India, the seventh largest country by area, home to more than 1.3 billion people, is the most populous democracy in the world. Emerging as the fastest growing nation, India is proudly known for its culture, ethics and values. The cultivation of roses became much popular during the Mughal period where Shah Jahan would be seen holding a rose in his hand to showcase his love for his wife, Mumtaz Mahal, for whom he created one of the seven wonders of the world, the Taj Mahal. During the British period, Kolkata, situated in the state of West Bengal, was the capital of India till 1911. During this period, the heritage of Kolkata increased at a great pace. This includes the development of tram lines unique to the city. The Victoria Memorial, an iconic spot in the heart of the city. The famous Howrah Bridge, a tourist spot for all ages and the botanical gardens, which has the richest collections of plants and specimens in the region. This part of India is also home to some of the world's famous poets, singers, and still leads in the field of theatre and fine arts. The Agri Horticultural Society, the Indian Rose Federation, and Bengal Rose Society of Kolkata are pleased to welcome all the delegates from around the world to the city of joy, Kolkata, for the World Regional Rose Convention 2020, Colors of Joy. We promise that this is going to be an extraordinary event as we are also celebrating the bicentenary occasion of the hosting organization, the Agri Horticultural Society of India. This organization was founded in 1820 by Reverend Dr. William Carey and is one of the oldest of its kind in South and Southeast Asia and is credited with a lot of basic development of scientific agriculture and horticulture and its spread across India. This garden is a rare germ plasm conservation of rare exotic plants in India, which are extinct. A large number of plants of economic importance, particularly fruits, vegetables, and ornamentals were introduced for cultivation in India through this society. During the pre-post tour that are organized for you, you will get a chance to visit places like the Kanchanjunga, the third highest mountain peak in the world. Sundarbans, one of the biggest biosphere reserve of the world habitat of the exotic Sundari trees and Royal Bengal Tigers. It is recorded that the East India Company had been shipping, among other things, rose plants from China to England with a temporary halt for nursing at Kolkata. There is mention of many rose varieties of Chinese origin found growing in the botanical gardens in 1832. Breeding of roses began in Bengal even before the other places in India. B. S. Patachaji was the first acclaimed rose breeder from India in 1930. During that period, a few other rose enthusiasts from Bengal also had success with breeding new varieties. The credit for promoting modern-day breeding of roses in India goes to late Dr. B. P. Pal, who was not only a renowned plant geneticist who headed the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, but also a great enthusiast of roses. He himself bred a number of fine varieties, wrote the book, The Rose in India, and inspired many others to engage in this activity. 
passing from generations and now the abode of some beautiful variety of roses. We extend a warm welcome to each one of you to experience the colors of joy in the city Kolkata. Namaste.